you believe that racism isn't a problem in Canada or that it's a relatively benign issue compared to racism in the United States or other countries? If so, I hope this next review will make you curious to learn more. Welcome to Audiobook Reviews in 5. This is Jana, also known as Yana, and today I'm reviewing The Skin We're In, A Year of Black Resistance and Power by Desmond Cole and read by the author. This week, the Institute for Strategic Dialogue, a British-based think tank, released findings in a 46-page report about white supremacy in Canada. You can find the link to this report in my show notes, but to sum it up, the study findings reveal that Canadians are highly active on forums associated with white supremacy. For example, Canadians represent the third largest nationality using 4chan's politically incorrect board after the US and the UK. It's worth noting here that the researchers did not even look at the closed internet forums or encrypted chat groups, which are also popular with right-wing extremists. Even if the news of this report doesn't surprise you, I hope it gives pause to all the Canadians who've been saying that racism is so much worse in the United States and the like. Coincidentally, I heard about the news story after I had just finished listening to Desmond Cole's audiobook. And I'd chosen that audiobook because it had great reviews online and I wanted to better understand experiences of anti-black racism in Canada, where I've lived my entire life. In a February 2020 interview on TVO with host Steve Pakin, Cole mentions that he originally intended to write about racism with a more historic perspective, but ultimately he was encouraged to share his personal experiences and he chose to highlight experiences and events related to racism over the course of 2017. His audiobook was published in January of this year, and it echoes the title of Cole's 2015 award-winning Toronto Life article, The Skin I'm In, where he revealed he'd been stopped and questioned by police more than 50 times, and he had good reason to believe it's because he's black. Cole's narration of his book is compelling and it makes for a riveting listen. Cole's parents immigrated to Canada from Sierra Leone in the 1970s and he was born in Red Deer, Alberta and grew up in Oshawa, Ontario. I felt his sense of ironic humor and his understated style reflect relatable Canadian qualities that many listeners will appreciate. However, Cole's stories also made me uncomfortable at times, as I felt compelled to reflect more critically on my previous assumptions about where I live, Toronto, and its supposed multicultural post-racial idealism. Cole's lived experiences rip all of those assumptions apart, and with every chapter, I felt I was seeing a different aspect of anti-Black racism in recent history especially regarding the 2015 killing of Andrew Loku, a 45-year-old Torontonian and father of five who was shot by police after they were summoned by a neighbor while Loku seemed to be suffering a mental health crisis. Shared in the context of multiple incidents of police or government-related interactions with black people in Canada, Cole presents a pattern of harmful racialized treatment and violence that listeners or readers of his book cannot deny. Ultimately, what Cole points to is the need to end systemic inequalities in Canada, which stem in part from our colonial history and our lasting support for white supremacy. This is a massive undertaking, and I'm encouraged and inspired by Cole's thoughtful analysis, his ongoing activism, and his influence on the public conversation. I finished this audiobook with bigger questions, though. What will it mean to be a Canadian if we succeed in dismantling old systems 
that are still revered by so many? And what would Canada look like or feel like? And who are we if we don't actively work at dismantling systems undermined by white supremacy? I don't have the answers to these questions, but I definitely want to be a part of that conversation. Overall, this is an excellent book for anyone who wants to better understand anti-Black racism in Canada and how it influences our justice system. Desmond Cole has also appeared in several Canadian documentaries and on TV Ontario, as I mentioned, and you can find a lot of great material featuring his ideas on YouTube. That said, I highly recommend you buy Cole's book or audiobook and support this great Canadian author. That's all for this episode of Audiobook Reviews in 5. Thanks for listening. I hope you'll subscribe to my podcast on your favorite platform, and I look forward to checking in with you all again soon. Please stay safe and be well.